drop what you do in YouTube. It's a big play thick. We back here and we got the squad and we got a sniping video for y'all. Um, Cause today that's what I'm be doing. Because you know it's 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 Thursday. You know what Thursday means? Thursday means limited pulls, new packs in the store. And what that means is more people are gonna be pulling stuff. Price is going down. There are lots of snipes to be had. Um, and that's just a general rule for you guys. If you didn't already know that, the more packs people are buying, more packs people are pulling, the more cards you know uh, go into the market. And prices go down. That's just what happens. And because there are more cards, you have more opportunities for snipes. So you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday usually aren't the best times to be sniping, um, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are are usually very good for sniping, and also very good for buying things cheaply. So if you want to upgrade your team, I'd, I'd I would wait till Thursday if you can. Um, and if you want to, you know, buy cards to sell them for training points, I would also wait till Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, etc. And speaking of selfless plug here, uh, if you haven't already checked out the video I did on how to power, you know, buy training the cheapest, you should go see that video. It's the best video you're going to see in that regard. And I have a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet I update it every few days. Um, so to let you know what cards you should be buying to quick sell because you know, if you're if you're not buying the right cards, you're cheating yourself out of money. But you're not here for the power-up video, you're here for the sniping video, because you want to see that coin stack in the top right corner just go up and up and up and up and up. And you want to get to the millions, and obviously I want to get to the millions too, I'm not at the millions yet, but I know how to get there. So I'm going to show you some of the filters that I've been using to uh, you know, increase my coin total. And before the golds absolutely shot up in price um, to up over 3k, these high golds here, they used to be going for about what they're going now, which is 24, 25k. And so what you can just do is just buy buy now, go team by team, um, and this, you want the 75 to 79 overalls, and you know, you see these guys, you can 100% sell them for 2400. Um, you can sell most of them for more than that, so I've been selling them for 2700. Um, and you know, usually 50 to 60% of them sell every time. If you, if you want everyone to sell every time, put them for 24, 2,500. But if you know, you're okay with, you know, reposting cards, 2,700 is the way to go. Um, and as you can see, a lot of these ones are going for, you know, 2,000, 2,100, and you can buy those if you want. Um, but I tend to, my, my rule is if it's 76 overall or below, so it's 75 or 76 overall, it has to be 1,700 or below. And if it's, um, but if it's 78 overall, 70 or 79 overall, or 77 overall, 77 plus, I'll do it. I'll buy them for um, 1,800 coins or less. You know, just that you know that 100 coin difference. Just because the 78, the 77 pluses um, tend to sell better, just because they're higher overall, they give more training, etc. Um, and of course, you can buy these for training. They're just not really cheap enough to to buy a lot of them for training. But I'm not going to go over that in this video. Again, that's the other video. So, right, we just keep going team by team. Um, we got a couple there, right? That's, you know, about a thousand coins. Took about 10 seconds. Takes zero skill. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of doing this. I like being able to get a lot of snipes. You know, I'm not one to just sit around, you know, refreshing for an hour, hoping to get an 80K snipe. Um, that you know ends up never coming that's just really frustrating for me i would rather have a bunch of little snipes and know that i'm constantly improving my coin total and that and see that number go up constantly i really like that um so i'm not going to go through the whole team list you can keep doing that you can cycle through it over and over again um we'll do one more team we'll do the cowboys and then we'll move on to the next filter and these are these actually are the filters that i use i personally use to increase my coin stack total. These, this is what I use. Um, obviously solo challenges are great. Uh, playing head to head is great. Um, both of those things are, are super awesome. And if you play a lot of head to head, you get a lot of um, those season one trophies. You know, I, I, I would use them on the, um, the 40 set that gives you an, what is it? An 86 to 89 overall. That's the set I think is, it's is more, most worth it for your money. Um, so I would hold on to those, collect 40 of those and do that set over and over again if you can. Or if you just don't play enough head to head, you know what, take the 82 to 85 because at minimum it's going to be 15k and at most you could get 50, 60k. 
uh, just you know because some of those 85 overalls are really expensive. But another uh, filter I use is I do the 88s to 89s. Um, and you don't want to do these by team because there just aren't as many of them. You want to see as many cards as you possibly can. So we'll, um, but as you can see, if we sort by newest, which we're going to do, um, we're only seeing the last 51 minutes of cards when, you know, you want to see at least an hour, hopefully eight hours. Um, that's what you're hoping for. Um, but, you know, if you just do these by offense and defense, you can you can see up to 59 minutes, which means you're getting the newest cards so you can get the best cards. Um, and you can just keep going back and forth through this and you want to sort by newest. Um, if you don't know your prices, which of course I didn't know my prices when I first started doing this filter, I don't even know them a little bit. I was just like, all right, I have a couple hundred K now. I can afford some of these. I can afford to snipe some of these things. Um, so I just started doing it and every card I had to look up because I don't know how much that you know Atkins went for. But, you know, now I know that that's not a snipe right there. It just takes time. And you looked up these prices on Mudhead, you look up what they're going for, and you see what um, you need to get to be able to make money. Because you can't forget, there's a 10% auction tax um, every time you sell something. So, you know, this Indomitian Sioux, Indomitian Sioux often goes for 160, 165K, but minus that 10%, that's minus 16k and if the profit margin between 153 and 160 is only 7k and you're losing 16 of that k if you bought the suit for 153 and sold them for 160 you're actually losing 9k so don't do that don't do that no ooh, hold up here it's saying patrick peterson is 235 that was 214 is it 235 like i can sell it for 240 because if you can sell it for more sell it for more um, so one sold for 245 half an hour ago and that 245 minus the 25 K of tax is 220, which is 6 K. I'll take 6 K. 6 K is not bad. So I'm going to buy this one. Um, it's about, if I, you know, I'm going to try to sell them for 245 K. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to put these cards out for a bunch. A bunch of times you know i once bought a saquon barkley for 199k back when he was going for like 220 225 and i was like i can sell for 230 and i didn't i couldn't sell for 230 i could sell them for 225 and i ended up selling it for 225 but it, it you know it it ended up taking a couple days and so that's you know that's another filter some higher priced cards right and you want to go back to newest because it reverts itself automatically back to um buy now every time you do that so another filter you can do is just straight up elite players and these ones, you have to know your, your price is best. Um, right now, elite cards are cheap, right? Um, because of because of the packs. So prices tend to be going down. Um, none of these are none of these are buys. But generally, um, you shouldn't be able to know that you can sell um, 80 to 81 overall cards for eight and a half, nine k, um, and you can sell 82, 83 overall cards for at least 14, 15 k. Um, and you will be able to sell 84, 85s for about 30k, as I just missed that snipe right there because I wasn't looking. Um, you can usually you can sell those for about 30k. Some of them you can sell for more. So right, obviously 85 Telvin Smith goes for 50k, but 85 you know Chris Harris Jr. goes for 30, 35k. This Champ Bailey goes for 35k. Um, so it just depends on um, it depends on the card. Um, so I'm actually going to pick up this Norman because I think Norman sells pretty well, actually, um, for over 30 K cornerbacks tend to sell a little bit better. Um, just because, you know, cornerbacks are important cards and I know Josh Norman's not exactly the fastest cornerback, so he's not the de most desirable. Um, but he does get a lot of picks, so he's, he's definitely selling good. So we're going to try to sell him for, uh, 33 K and right. If you know, that sells and it's one of our gold cards sold. Um, so, you know, you see this 80 overall going for 7k, I'll buy it for 7k, I can sell it for 9, that's, that's an easy 1k, it's an easy 1k. Um, and I know, again, 1k is not a lot, but if it's an easy, if it's easy to sell, why not? Why not? So we're gonna put him up for 9k. Rashad Jones for 28k, I know that's a buy, because I know Rashad Jones, um, definitely goes for, um, 35 plus K, 25 K. Like, you know, I've seen a bunch of cards that have 25 K. They're, um, this, I'll show Jeffrey's a buy. You know, they're out 25, 250, whatever. Um, and if it's an 84 overall, 
I don't really, I don't really want that. I, you know, just because I know there's better things out there. Because there are better things out there. Um, you can totally go for that. That's, you know, it's going to be profit. You're going to make money off of it. Um, but it's just, I want to put my, put my hook in a different fish. Um, but this Alshon Jeffrey, again, an 85 overall going for under 30k. I'm buying it. I'm buying it every time. Let me go find the cheapest one. Cheapest one's 29k. Oh, the 29 29k one sold. All right. I'll still buy this one. Um, you know, I'm going to sell them for 40k. Okay. All right. So Mike Evans for under 30, under 25k. I'll buy that. And I'll put him up for 31. So, you know, that'll be tw just under 28k. I bought him for under 25k. That's over 3k profit. I'm going to go back to the golds. I can get a couple more of those, put them up in the auction house. And I think that's when we're going to call that the video. Here we go. Here's a Mike Wallace. 1K. That's easy. Don't even have to think. See, even, even this guy, even this gold, I'm making 1,500 coins on it, 1,400 coins on it. That's a gold. I'm making more money than what I bought him for. Think about that. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, the best times to snipe are at night. Like... Um, when I say night, I mean United States night, I guess. So like, I'd say eight, nine o'clock Eastern time, which would be, you know, five, six o'clock on the West coast of the United States. Um, so for you international players, I don't know how well that fits in with your schedules or not, but that's the best time to snipe because... Um, that's where you have the most players online at the same time. Um, so you have the most people selling things at the same time. Now we've successfully done that. We are down to 365 coins, which is how many days of the year we don't take off. Um, and as you can see, we bought, I think we bought 17 cards and one of them sold during the video, but this is what we got. This is, yeah, this is the one that sold and we got all these cards that were, you know, waiting on to sell. And that is how you spend 450k, like that. But that's how you can make it more of it back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So remember, your filters are um, the filters I showed you were the 75 to 79 overall golds. So you do that team by team, but and bye bye now. Or you can do the 80 to 88 to 89s, and you'll do that by newest. And you also have to make sure that you separate them by offense and defense. Um, that's just, that'll be that'll be enough to get you um, to see all the newest cards. Uh, next filter, 84s and 85s. Um, and make sure when you do that one, you know which cards go for more, right? So if I'd you know, been able to see a Miles Jack for 30K, easy, easy buy. If I found a Dion Jones for 40K, that's an easy buy because he goes for 60K. So right, some of some of these cards are a little bit more expensive. You have to, you just want to know which ones are those, uh, which ones sell more easily, etc. Um, and you want to do that team by team as well. And you can also do that one by positions too if you want. Actually, that was that might have been the better way to go. Maybe I don't know. You can do that one by positions. And lastly, it's just all elite players. Um, you want to do that one newest. Also the 84s, 85s. You want that one newest as well. Um, but the 80s, the uh, excuse me, the elites. Team by team, newest. Um, you can sell 80s to 81s for 9K. You can sell 82, 83s, depending on the card, 14K, 15K. Some of them go up upwards of 20K. Um, 84, 85s, most of them you can sell for at least 30K. Um, you know, and then 86, 87s, it honestly depends on the card. Most of them go for at least 50K, but depends on the card. Same with 88s, 89s, and above. Um, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys' uh, coin total can start getting up to that millions or even just the hundreds of thousands because, you know, hundreds of thousands is enough to get you a really good team. Um, honestly, with that 450K, I almost just bought an entire team of, you know, 84, 85 overall elites. And, of course, there's Patrick Peterson, which is worth, like, eight of them combined. Um, so, just saying. If you want to get your coin total up to these numbers oh it's a good way to go either way hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment and definitely subscribe if you want more content if you want the best content 
because as I said, I've seen other people's videos. Some of their snipings are some of their sniping videos are good. Some of their sniping videos are not so good. Some of their power up videos, actually all of their power up videos are bad. So watch my power up video. It's good. All right, I'm signing off. Peace.